Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to set up workflow rules in Zoho CRM. Workflow rules help you automate the processes of your business and help you reduce the number of manual steps taken by your sales and marketing teams. Let's get started. Okay, here's the workflow rules screen in Zoho CRM. You can navigate here by clicking the setup icon and then automation workflow rules. So these workflow rules basically help us define common business processes that are going to be repeated over and over again whenever a specific criteria is met. So let's create a new rule to define an intake process for new leads. We'll, we can select any of the modules here. We'll select the leads module and we'll call it engage new webinar leads. And we want it to trigger when the lead is created because it's a new lead. Okay, then we can set the conditions. We can either affect all leads with this rule or we can affect only leads matching a certain condition. Now we'll say lead source is webinar. Okay, and we can add more conditions if we want. So if we add another one, we have this operator here. This is the and operator. We can change it to or. So when we have it set to and, that means these, both of these conditions need to be met in order to trigger the workflow rule. But if we set it to or, that means either, if either one is true, then we trigger the rule. So we're just going to keep it as that one criteria for now, and we're going to move on. And now I can define an action. And we can do instant actions or scheduled actions. So maybe I want to wait 24 hours and send them an email. So we'll say 24, and we'll say business hours because we don't want to accidentally email someone outside of business hours. You can set your business hours in your general company settings under the business hours tab. So now we select our action. We have several options here. We can update fields. Uh, we can create tasks. We can create notifications. And we can even do more advanced things like webhooks and custom functions, which we will talk about in future videos. So we'll go to notify via email. And then we select an email template. We can also create a new template from this screen, or we can associate with an existing template. So we'll associate form submission. And now 24 business hours after a new webinar lead comes in, they're gonna get this form submission email template. Now let's say you wanna do this for multiple lead sources and to find different actions for each type of lead. Instead of making a new rule, you can simply add another condition. And set another lead source to whatever you want it to be, let's say LinkedIn, and you can have a whole different process or a whole different email template that you follow with that. There's also a new feature called Actions by Zoho Flow, which allows you to trigger actions in your other Zoho applications or third-party applications. But for now, I'll just get rid of this condition. And we'll just, for the sake of demonstration, we'll test the first one. I encourage you to always test your workflow rules as a best practice. You want to make sure it works the way you expect it to before you apply it to real lead records in your CRM. So I'll quickly change this business hours time to 10 minutes just for the sake of demonstration. All right, so we're going to save this. And now we're going to create a new lead. 
with an email address of Beckman Collaborative. And we will set the lead source to webinar. And we'll save the lead. Okay, so here we are 10 minutes later, and we've received our automated welcome email, which was sent from the CRM. And we can also, uh, we can also view the history within the workflow by clicking view usage. And you can see that it was sent, it was triggered and it was sent. And we can also see that it was delivered and opened, but it was not clicked. So we've captured all the important metrics associated with this new lead and how they've interacted with the first email we've sent. So that's how you create a workflow in Zoho CRM. It's really that easy, and but there are a lot of possibilities. Uh, you can do this with leads, deals. You could automate the stages of a deal, the signing of documents, the sending of proposals. The possibilities really are endless. So if you are a Zoho CRM user, I would encourage you to, to leverage these workflow rules as much as possible. And if you need any help with that, you can contact Beckman Collaborative for support. Please subscribe to see more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next video.